Hey everyone, today we'll be looking at the new patch hitting Azeroth on Wednesday, as well as some of the hot fixes we saw throughout the week. Having a firm grasp on the meta will allow you to dominate Arena by playing the best comps, which is currently the best strategy in the game for quickly gearing up. Let's jump into it. Let's start with the balance changes in one of the most recent hotfixes, which you can see here. So, right away, we can see quite a few changes to mages, especially some considerable nerfs to arcane, reducing burst and defensive capabilities in one go. Overall, these are big nerfs that we expect to push most people into just playing Frost. And, speaking of Frost, the damage nerfs here are pretty manageable, with the nerf to Frozen Orb being the only one of real note, but Frost is still going to be the go-to for mages without a doubt. Moving on, we see a huge change to Windwalker's Meridian Strike, which was honestly completely broken and a much needed nerf. The spec is still competitive, just no longer able to burst with Touch of Death too frequently. And we also see a laundry list of changes to Rogues, nerfing all three specs across the board. The most notable being the much needed nerf to the Azerite trait Sharpened Blades, which was incredibly overpowered and saw people getting one shot all over the place. The other big nerf was to Deadshot, an overpowered Azerite trait that saw Outlaw Rogues doing ridiculous damage in their stuns. Past that, we saw damage reduction across the board to Sub and Outlaw, bringing both specs closer to other DPS specs, but definitely still completely viable. The last change we see is a nerf to Balance Druids, that will simply shift trait priority moving forward, but doesn't affect the spec's strength too much. We expect Balance to continue performing well. Moving on, Shortly after the first wave of hotfixes, we had another set addressing the overtuned Arms Warrior and BM Hunter. These particular hotfixes were much needed as both specs were way ahead of everything else and something needed to be done to close that gap. Taking a closer look at the actual nerfs, the biggest one for Warriors is the nerf to Deep Wounds, which has helped a ton in reducing their huge sustained damage. The nerf to Sharpened Blade and the other traits are not too big of a deal, and Warriors should still see play at a very competitive level they'll just most likely pick up some of the general PvE traits like Thunderous Blast and Tidal Surge. It's a similar story for BM Hunters. Although their nerfs seem much harsher on the surface, their best comps continue to work really well at high ratings. The only difference is that we're likely to see more survival hunters creep up the ladder. Finally, let's take a look at the upcoming class tuning and discuss our predictions for how these specs will perform next week. Bear in mind that these changes are focused on balancing PvE, and there's a possibility that these buffs will be balanced against nerfs in PvP. So, right off the bat, we see a 5% buff to Feral damage, which stands out as one of the most important changes here. Ferals already deal crazy damage, and adding a flat 5% buff means that their strongest comp, Jungle Cleave, may start to feel unbeatable for some comps. Although the 5% nerf to BM Hunters, on top of the hotfixes they already received, may cause BM to drop below both MM and Survival in terms of its popularity. Fire Mages are getting a 6% damage increase across the board, along with 15% increased Flame Strike damage. Although Fire Mages are not seeing much play right now because of how superior Frost is, Fire is still a good spec, and already does decent damage, so this buff is likely to make Fire Mages see a lot more play. Holy Paladins are getting a 7% increase to their Holy Light and Flash of Light, a much needed buff as they currently struggle to heal outside of Avenging Wrath. Definitely a needed and good change. Discipline Priests on the other hand are getting their Atonement healing reduced in the form of a 9% nerf to Smite damage, a change that is definitely warranted given that a Disc Priest can match a DPS on damage in some games while also matching an opposing healer in healing done. Holy Priests are getting a 3% healing reduction, but that does not change much in Arena, as Disc Priests far outshine Holy Priests when it comes to Rated Arena. Next, we see a very interesting change for Shadow Priests, as they're getting a 20% increase to their dot damage. It's been very apparent in BFA that Shadow Priest dots have become much weaker, forcing them to focus more on single target pressure, however, this change may see a return to their capabilities of rotting down an opposing team. Outlaw Rogues continue to get nerfed with Deadshot taking an additional 20% hit on top of the changes we already saw in the earlier hotfixes and an overall 5% damage reduction. With Sub also taking an overall 5% hit to their damage, there's a strong possibility that Assassination starts to see a lot more play in RMP and RMD. However, these Rogue damage nerfs definitely are not enough to stop Outlaw and Sub RMP or RMD from dominating at the top of the ladder. Restor Shelms are getting a 12% buff to Healing Rain, 
which won't really make any impact in Arena. However, the 6% increase to Riptide has the potential to make Rustle Shamans much stronger at healing against teams with a ton of interrupts. Finally, we have Warlocks, who are taking a 20% nerf to summon Dark Lair for their Affliction spec, and a 5% buff to both Demonology and Destruction. Unfortunately, these changes don't do much for Warlocks, as their biggest issue right now isn't their damage, but is instead their defensive capabilities. So, just to wrap up with some final thoughts, the general consensus of the Arena community is that they're enjoying how fast-paced Arena is right now. However, in light of recent hotfixes, it's clear that Blizzard wants to nerf and not buff, which means we're likely to return to a much slower meta, something that much of the community is worried about happening. Alright everyone, that's it for now. Let us know in the comments below what you thought of this video and if you want to see more like it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.